we've got various uh, alterations. We've got the, the, the hijab, the hijab with the disc hanging out, that hanging out, the hijab with the neck showing, the back showing, the turban. And then some of you are maybe even wearing the jilbab, but you're wearing makeup. This is, this, two things are happening here. Two things are happening here. Number one, you're disobeying Allah, so the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, is not as strong for you as it would be for someone who's obeying Allah. Number two, you're actually attracting the evil uh, jinn, the evil shaitan, mm. to fall in love with you. Fuck. The same way when you walk down a street and a guy is looking at you, he might try to approach you. He won't try and rape you though, would he? But the shaitan, it's easy for the shaitan to try that. You know why? Because you can't see it, so he can just touch you and you won't even know. He could be playing with you. He could be trying to rape you. Come to you at night and how many times have I... Well, how could you touch them back? How can you touch them back? That's what I want to know. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it out and I'm going to say something. I mean, it, you could return the favor. That will shock you. The majority of sisters who are watching here, if I was to read Quran on you, or a person who knows Ruqya was to read Quran on you, the majority of you, meaning more than 50%, are possessed. Or have a jinn that's bugging you. What? Are you seriously saying that? A person who knows Ruqya was to read Quran on you, the majority of you, meaning more than 50%, are possessed. Ah, more than 50% of us are possessed. I really, I really hope my, my gen, where's my gen? Are you hot? Are you girl? Are you girl? I hope so. Guys. I have a gen that's bugging you. Majority. No. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. Maybe you just don't know. Come, let me read the Quran on you. Find someone to read the Quran on you. And see how you react. This is real, it's not a small problem. This is big, this is common. Allah is common. Badi, please, I beg you guys, at the end of this video, make sure you send this video to so many people. I really want you guys to listen and watch this video. I want to spread this video. I don't ask this much because I don't, I don't call for people to view me or watch my stuff. But this video, please spread it like wildfire so people can just take this in, inshallah. Oh, I can't have serious. Come, you will find that there are problems. More than 50%. I'm telling you, the shock. More than 50 So shocking. Just trust this guy. Look, he, he feels like, oh, like people watching this, people are like, oh my God. People actually take this guy seriously. They're like, he's like, I'm shocking. And people watch it like, ah, he said it. It must be true. Look at I me. Mean, look at the likes. Uh, look, 13,000 people like this. So 13,000 people watch this. And he said, more than 50% of you are possessed. And he just, it must be true because he says it. Now, what about the sister who's not even wearing the hijab? She's not even wearing enough. Oh my God, guys, think about this. So he's saying the women who are wearing the hijab, they're covering their hair, they're wearing the naqab, but their body, the, what they're covering their body with is tight. Even those women, like face covered, hair covered, everything covered, but... The body is is like a bit tight, so you can see the curves. They're inviting the shaitan. They're asking for it. They're asking to be snuggle struggled. Okay? So imagine the woman who are not even wearing the hijab. Oh my God, mind blown. It's like, <laughs> this is not this guy. Tell you, shocking. Shocking. Now, what about the sister who's not even wearing the hijab? She's not even wearing nothing. But the one who not only that, but she wears tight clothes, revealing clothes. Then she puts perfume on herself with the Prophet said, don't do perfume. You come on. If you put perfume on, can do you get do you even get to complain? Do you even get to complain? You put perfume on, and then you get ard. Come on, you just, you're asking for perfume. I mean, you can't even blame, like, come on. If any woman who wears perfume and she wants to allure the men or, you know, the men to smell her, then she is a fornicatress. Ah, what the hell was that word? Fornicatress? If you, if you put perfume on, you're, you're a fornicate. What is that word? If any woman who wears perfume and she wants to allure the men or, you know, the men to smell her, then she is a fornicatress. Fornicatress? Is that a word? Hey, wow, Ace is from Japan. Then wait, hey, what? Okay, thank you so much. What? That's 100 something. Is that like a Japanese currency? 
looks a lot like Indian currency. But thank you so much for the super chat, Atheist from Japan. Oh, here's the word, fornicatress. I didn't know that's a word. Sounds really bad. Let me put some perfume on. I'm dead now, whatever that word is. And then on the she listened to music, and then the guy listened to music. And then... <laughs> <laughs> on top of that, she, she listened to music, and the guy listened to music. Oh no, they put perfume on and listen to music. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, wait, is that what he really said? This can't be serious. Come on, this guy must be an ex-Muslim pretending. If you, if she wants to allure the men or, you know, the men to smell her, then she is a fornicatress. And then on top of that, she listens to music, and then the guy listens to music. And then... <laughs> you know, oh, no, come on. Are you serious? They put perfume on, and on top of that, she listens to music, and the guy listens to music. Oh, you... No, come on. This is, this cannot be serious. Oh, you know, the men smell her, then she is a fornicatress. Oh my god. And then on top of that, she oh. listens to music, and then the guy listens to music, and then they both go to the club, and they both drink music. Like, I, what, what's, what's, what's music? The music. Okay, the music. Music is the sound of shaitan. Music is the sound of shaitan. Guys, every single half minute of this video is like pure comedy. Music is the sound of shaitan. Actually, music sounds a lot. That's like a huge endorsement to music. That sounds pretty epic. There needs to be a metal band. I mean, I don't like metal, but this, I would like it if it was called The Sound of Shaitan. There needs to be a metal band called The Sound of Shaitan. The Sound of Shaitan. Is it a band named The Sound of Shaitan? That sounds pretty epic, actually. That's pretty cool. Somebody trademarked that. The Sound of Shaitan. Music, guys, these people are actually anti music. They anti, they're anti fun. They're anti pleasure. They're anti music. They don't like music. They think music is evil. They think music is devilish. Like Shaitan means devil, Sa Satan. Shaitan means Satan. They think music is the sound of Satan. I mean, again, that sounds pretty epic from our perspective, but from their perspective, they're anti-music. Again, this is not us. Just look at this. This video got like almost 800,000 views, 13,000 likes. The vast majority of the audience like this. This is like, again, this is a large portion of mainstream Islam. And they're saying music is the sound of shaitan. Yeah, Shaitan rocks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank you, Shaitan. I mean, this guy, this is a huge endorsement of Shaitan. Like, what did Allah give you? Allah gave you my um, Allah endorsed having sex with nine year olds and taking sex slaves in war. That's what Allah gives you. What does Shaitan give you? Shaitan gives you music. <laughs> music comes from Shaitan. Whose side would you be on? Allah or Shaitan? I, I, I pick my, I pick Shaitan. I choose Shaitan. Wafs these men istatat minhum bisotik. Allah said, go and 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 um and uh go and terrorize with your voice whoever you want. Shaitan. Allah says, to, uh, Allah terrorize with music. These people are terrorized by music. Holy please. No. These people, again, I can't say what I want to say. I cannot say what I want to say. You two, why are you doing this to me? Uh, imagine what their ideology is responsible for. And yet they have the audacity to say that they're terrorized by music. Music. The, the, the main devil. What is the salt of shaitan here? What did the Sahaba explain this ayah? Abdullah ibn Abbas, Tarjuman al Quran, the one who explained the Quran, the companion of the Prophet, the cousin of the Prophet. What did he say? He said, This the salt of shaitan, the voice of shaitan, who is music.
So you guys, Allah says, what's that says, what's that says, many stuff that I mean, we sort of, with your voice, go and terrorize who you want, meaning with the music, go and do that. So you guys are there, listen to your music, listen to this song, listen to that song. Then, you, you know, you, 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 you're not praying, you know, you, you, you got boyfriend, you got girlfriend, you know, you, you're smoking weed, drinking alcohol, you know, going clubbing, doing this, doing that. Wallahi, you are asking for yourself to get mashed up in this life. Guys, this is like blaming the victim on a whole more, way more disgusting level than karma. You know how I blame karma for blaming the victim? This is way worse. It, and then, and then, what's way? T- and by the way, what you you think you think getting possessed by a jinn is bad? Yeah, it's peak, but there's nothing compared to the punishment for these sins in the next life. That should be more scary for you to want to change, not a video like this. So I'm. I'm but you know, but you know that people. You know why you're scaring people with gen snuggle struggles? Because you know that most Muslims do not take hell seriously. Because it's not real. It's not real. And it's hard for people to relate to an afterlife somewhere else. That's why you have to scare them with stuff in this world. And stuff that some other people have genuinely experienced and you just want to associate it with not something Islamic because you know that that scare tactic works better because there's something real and tangible that you could point to and be like, oh, look, these people are experiencing that. You could experience that. 